Hi guys, I thought I'd just do this quick video because I have just taken receipt of the Ulanzi tripod, which is perfect for my Sony ZV-1. So this is a quick unboxing of that. So here we go. Look at how small that is, gosh, I didn't think it was gonna be that small. So um, got the package in there. That's what it looks like, collapsed. So seriously small. Looks good, um, got Chinese characters on. Must be from China, I guess. Um, let me just get some scissors. Now, I do have a small tripod, but i um, be using that for my son's uh, CCTV camera, which we use as a baby monitor. So uh, I wanted to get this to replace that. It's only 18.99, I believe, from Amazon in the UK. Um, so this is the tripod. Box doesn't feel particularly robust. <clears throat> Looks a bit sort of damaged on the end and a bit flimsy to be honest. But uh, nonetheless, hopefully the tripod itself will be okay. Uh, good things about this because uh, you can extend it. So look at that. So pretty, pretty small to be honest. Literally the size of my hand, um, which which is pretty good going. Um, heard good things about this. Hopefully, it's going to be good. So, let's have a look. How does it work? Not sure how to extend it. So, I'm having issues extending it. It says extension tripod on the bottom there. I don't know where that's going to focus. Yep, extension tripod. So, no instructions in here. Oh, there we go. Just done it. You have to just pull. Being too gentle. So, it goes that, that high. Which I think is good. Not sure it's worthwhile, I don't know. I think with the camera on it will do the trick. So I might just try mounting my camera and I'll check in with you in a second. Bye for now. Trying to mount it, bear with. Okay, so I'm currently holding the Sony ZV-1 mounted onto a quick release plate uh, which is attached to the extendable Ulanzi tripod. Now the tripod itself is pretty small as you saw um, and finally I managed to figure out how to extend it. The extension rod isn't amazing, in fact actually I'll just, just do a quick video on my phone now. Uh, just to show you what the setup's like. So this is the setup here. Um, so this is it fully extended. So not doesn't give you loads of width, but for something so compact, it's pretty good to be honest. It doesn't feel the most durable thing in the world to be honest. It feels like I could probably snap it in half. Um, but um, yeah, this is it. So yeah, no, it's. I think I'll keep it. But um, in fact, actually, if I tilt you right now if I tilt it like that and then I do that I can get a lot more wider field of view which is brilliant because the lens on the camera as we all know is only a 24 mil I believe um, and also with uh, active stabilization it's not great so this will be quite useful for giving me that wider field of view whereas if I was sort of holding it about there it's not as good got quite long arms anyway so this will mean that I will get quite a good perspective I think so all in all happy so far it does feel slightly flimsy a bit weird it didn't sort of it wasn't sort of easy to know how to extend the uh, the telescopic bit of the tripod but it's just a case of pulling it out by the look of it um, so all in all enjoying it so far and I will keep you updated if anything changes in terms of my experience with this tripod but yeah really small thing probably fit in my pocket uh, all in all looks good bye for now um, just before I go I thought I'd just show you the difference between this and the Monfrotto sort of equivalent which doesn't extend um, but this is literally the the height of it and this is what I was using before as I say I currently use this with my son's baby monitor or CCTV camera um, so yeah that's that it seems to be about the same sort of length in fact um, actually a bit shorter uh, only slightly but obviously you can extend it 
And the way the extension works is literally you just pull it up like that and there you have it, that's it at its full length. So really quite good in terms of its compact. Could be a bit more sturdy, I think, in its build, um, but generally speaking, quite useful for sort of run and gun stuff uh, and to be able to just sort of slot this in even a coat pocket um, with my Sony ZV-1 in another bag will do the job. So yeah, all in all, a good little product. Bye for now.